Hey guys, it's me again, Any Top Tens, and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, please subscribe and click my notification bell to get notified whenever I upload my new videos. And before we start the show, please let me flex my new intro. <laughs> One of the Philippines' industry game changer, philanthropist, and nation builder, John L. Gokongwe Jr., died on Saturday night of November 9, 2019, at the Manila Doctors' Hospital at the age of 93. He is one of the greatest business leaders of the Philippines who built a multinational conglomerate not only in the Philippines but across the Asia Pacific region. He was the founder and chair emeritus of GG Summit Holdings making him the third wealthiest man in the Philippines with a net worth of $5.3 billion, according to Forbes magazine. Here are the top 10 things you didn't know about John Kokongwe Jr. Number 1. He donated half of his wealth to charity. In 1992, John together with his brothers, Johnson Henry and James, donated a significant portion of their shares from GV Summit to their very own foundation. Gokongwe Brothers Foundation or GBF, which aims to create lasting impact on education in the Philippines. When we reached the age of 80 in the 2006, he donated half of his accumulated wealth to the charity through the foundation. This was used in providing STEM, education and scholarships to underprivileged students. At present, GBF gives generous donations through Ateneo de Manila University's John Gokongwe School of Management. De La Salle University's John Gokongwe School of Engineering and the John Gokongwe Innovation Center at the La Salle University Laguna Campus. Number 2. He was a man who was much ahead of his time. Despite living through Philippines' tough times, American colonized and Japanese occupation, and getting along the country's erratic economic and political cycles, Gokongwe was never afraid of venturing into different business undertaking even if it would require hard work and slow gains. In an interview of his son Lance, he shared that his father was a strong believer that having the courage of your convictions is one of the most important qualities of a strong businessman, making him a true entrepreneur, a visionary, and trailblazer. It can be remembered that a lot of people questioned his decisions when he set up the first country's low-cost carrier Cebu Pacific and the very first integrated petrochemical business plant which is now operating in Batangas. Number 3. He made unlimited call and text services available for the people. Because of Gokongwe's entry to the telecommunication business, the incumbent players in the market were forced to lower their prices and began providing unlimited services for calls and text. Digital or digital telecommunications was then sold in October 2011 for the stake in PLDT. Number 4. He grew up in Cebu. Though he was born in China, he came to the Philippines along with his parents at an early age. He is the great grandson of Pedro Gotiauco, one of the richest men in the Philippines in the 19th century and the ancestor of the Gaisano and Gutianoy families. However, because his father died during the colonial years of the Philippines, he was forced to become the breadwinner of the family. Growing up in Cebu, he began trading goods on a bicycle. Number 5. He made the first multinational Philippine corporation. It was early 1957 when Gokongwe began the corn milling plant, which main purpose is to produce corn starch and glucose, the universal corn products. This is the now universal Robina Corporation, which is known to produce the classic favorite brands like Chippy, Nova, and C2. Because of this success, Gokongwe decided to bring URC overseas to nine other East ASEAN countries and Oceania, and this is even before the AEAS was founded as of present. GG Summit Holdings is one of the biggest food manufacturers in Asia. Number 6. He created traveling available to every Filipino. Gokongwe eradicated the concept that traveling is only for the rich. After losing the bidding for Philippine Airlines in 1990, Gokongwe came up with a budget-friendly airline that made air travel more accessible to every Filipino. The airline was named Cebu Pacific to give tribute to the home province of Gokongwe. Number 7. He founded Robinson's Malls in every corner of the country. 
The first Robinson's Galleria was built in 1990 and was located in the corner of Edsa and Ortigas, the very site of the Edsa Revolution. Because of the success of this mall, he opened more of these malls, department stores, and supermarkets all over the country. As of today, there are more than 50 Robinson's malls in the Philippines. Number 8. He envisioned to help Filipinos to earn more. To help the Filipinos manage their finances and stabilize their income, Gokongwe expanded his business into real estate and finance by opening the Robinson's Land Corporation and Robinson's Bank Corporation. Number 9. He made thousands of jobs for the Filipinos. Because of the many business ventures of Gokongwe, he was able to employ more than 75,000 people not only in the country but all over the world. This makes Gokongwe Group as one of the biggest employers in the Philippines. Number 10. He encouraged people to never stop learning. Despite his achievements, Gokongwe never forgets his origins and his love for his family and country. His favorite advice whenever asked to give speeches or during interviews is to never stop learning. He shared that the ultimate secret of success is his love for what he does. Love your work, work hard for it. Love your family, love your country, never stop learning and always look back and be grateful where you came from. Hey guys, if you like my video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment to know your feedback about my video. And that's all for today guys. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.